hello and welcome I have finally got back to doing the videos how I used to do it um, it's having a little difficulty I had to build my son a new computer as he's going into junior high school and um, even though he could have used the computer he had I kind of wanted to get him you know build him another computer because uh, you know our computers old you know we all have we have I, you know, me and uh, him and I, we built this computer in about uh, 2013, 2013, okay? And so, um, there was, a, a, you know, a great deal on a um, AMD uh, Ryzen 1600 CPU, and so I ended up um, purchasing it. And um, I just used some of the old, some of his old parts from his, uh, not old parts, but some of his parts from his old computer, like the graphics card and, um, you know, just his hard drives, just, just, you know, migrate them to the new computer. And, uh, and that was it, you know. So, uh, you know, a lot of the slowdowns that you used to see on my other videos, my older videos, you're not going to have those anymore, okay? All right, so, like I said, so you're not going to... Um, see that anymore at least hopefully I, I don't think you will um, you know and then I had problems with my new phone because I try to um, I try to hook it up to the computer and it would mount the phone and um, you know usually my other phone when I when I uh, you know hook it up to the, U the USB uh, you know on the com on the d on the computer you know you'll see the phone you know, it has the name of the phone icon, and I'm able to go into the phone and get my files. But for some reason, I'm not able to do that with this phone. So you know, I didn't want to start getting all you know upset and and you know some you know as a TI, you know we are you know we think already, and you know and for the most part it is they you know they basically uh, whatever they you know whatever uh, sp a malware they put on the computer to um, prevent me from uh, docking my um, my phone so that I can get the file off of it so that's why I've been doing the videos that you guys have been seeing uh, on my phone so I have to download this app that uh, right uh, it's a screen recorder app and basically um, do the videos uh, you know at that from that uh, standpoint so today I finally found a uh, walk around so I went on you know the Samsung website and um, you know Google see this is the one thing about the internet and this is why uh, they are trying to not get rid of the internet but trying to make you pay for certain websites okay and sooner or later you're gonna pay for everything okay because the information that's available on the web today right you could basically get a damn a, 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 um, sorry a degree you know you could you know you can um, you want to take up engineering right they have engineering courses online for free this is the stuff that you would pay, you know, thousands of dollars for to go to college to learn. And so, you know, there is this great push to end net neutrality, right? Because this is this this is why. Okay, this is why because you know you can learn a lot. Like for me, I, I didn't know plumbing. <coughs> Excuse me, I didn't know plumbing, and I and I watched a couple of YouTube videos, and I had to I had to install reinst um install new pipes in the bathroom new pipes in the kitchen I did that just from YouTube videos okay like I said I, I mean my my back hurt for days literally I, I, I couldn't walk for like a day after doing all that you know and um, it took me about two weeks just to get back to you know myself you know and even though you know as a TI particularly in my injuries I'm not 100% there but you know it is what it is right so I'm going to uh, start this video by uh, saying, um, you know, for those who are watching this video, you know, I'm a black man. So I got to say black lives matter. And um, if you get offended by that, then you need to look at yourself and, and really uh, question uh, yourself in terms of why it bothers you. Right. Because uh, when we say black lives matter, we're not saying that other lives don't matter. What we're saying is that other lives matter but black life don't matter so we want the world to know that black lives do matter okay 
but then you're gonna have some racist people who get triggered because they hate black people right and so the thought of somebody saying black lives matter is they somehow they feel they they're oppressed now you know <laughs> i mean this shit is just funny right but look if you are a white person or any other person of any ethnicity and you understand the history what have been done to black people across the globe not just here in america globally right and for too long uh we as black people have been suppressed have been subjugated to violence to criminality of being black when you can criminalize someone just because they're black when you know i'm walking down the street and somebody's looking at you and 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 all they see is a criminal right even other black people look at other black people as, as criminals right and see here's the thing though right you have thousands upon thousands upon thousands of black men that are in prison who have been falsely arrested accused false evidence planted on them sometimes there is no evidence sometimes it's just the word of a police officer okay is enough to get a black man or woman or child in jail okay so um you know a little bit of educational uh insight here okay and also some reading materials for those who really have need to understand all right there's a book called the new jim crow by michelle alexander you have to read that uh there's another book that i just bought um it's called uh let's see here uh, um, i know see my, my my memory comes and goes some on sundays you know i can remember things on other days i can't remember and i've been reading this book and i just i just got this book and i've been posting it all on facebook <laughs> right and i can't even remember the name of the bloody book um it's called the color of law okay by uh, Richard Rothstein, an incredible, incredible book. Okay, then another book you guys should read. Okay, it's called *The Color of Money: Black Banks and the Racial Wealth Gap* by uh, Monsieur uh, Barad. Hold on. Michelle Baradonan. Okay. And here's another book. Here's another book. And this one is a this one is what you call a doozy. And I'm I'm using I'm using old words, right? You know? I'm an I'm an I'm an old school guy. Okay? This one is called Breaking Ranks by Norm Stumter. Right? A top cop expose of the dark side of American policing right and then for these so-called white people okay what you really need to read is birth of a white nation by Jacqueline Bada don't know let me see here Hold on a second. Uh, let's see I'm just looking uh, okay so birth of a white nation where'd it go just have it here okay by Jacqueline Balanora right uh, so you know, the, the preview is so small you know and the myth of race robert ward uh sussman okay right so those books i suggest everyone read this black and white and asians and whoever or whatever okay read it right okay so uh, let me, let 
Let me go back here again. Okay, so let's talk about my targeting. Still happening, you know. Um, you guys see in the videos, they've been you know, surprising. I didn't, I didn't hear uh, firecrackers this morning, but I did last night. Um, you know, it's funny because they'll 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 do things to like shock an army, you know. Like um, there was it uh, Monday morning. I woke up out of bed, and the first thing I did was look at the palm of my hand, and right after I did that, there was like three loud bangs, right? And I I don't think I didn't don't think it was um, firecrackers. Okay, I don't think it was a you know even an M80. Okay? I think it was actually gunshots. Okay, so they do stuff like that. Right, just to just to shock an army, you know. So Sunday, um, I went to see the kids. Okay, uh, this was around twelve, one on twelve. Got on the bus. You know, the targeting was very slight. And this was Saturday pass, so this was the um, July fourth. Okay, and um, you know, so I'm in this video here. You'll see I'm I'm walking to Pam's building. Okay. All uh, right. So just got off the bus. Walking over my pan. Started with the fireworks. Okay. Right. I'm not hearing anything. Uh, it wasn't a continuous thing. So. And they start to do things in a very short short wave of attack. Wave of attack. That way. That way. I won't be able to. I won't be able to. You know, uh, get it on video. Right. So again, you know, they still always do that. They stay. Make people aware of what's going on. You know, people can see what it is that they're doing. Okay. Um, all right. So, I was just let me just I'm gonna mute this the video for the most part. I probably mute the video and just talk over it as to what's going on. I will probably let some audio come in from you know recording from the phone. But what I was saying is that um, you know when I put a really good video out there that shows what they're doing right they take a step back right then they start doing things in a very subtle way okay when I do a video and it's and it like it may spark the curiosity of other people who watches it okay that's what they do right so then they're not going to give me any any more of the targeting in a blatant way that I can record it right and then they usually about another two days or three days then they come back because again they have to discredit right they have to discredit what it is that I'm showing what it is I'm talking about right oh he's talking about this oh that means he's crazy or such and such you know what I'm saying this is this is the tactics this is the the purpose when you, t you talk about a coercive persuasion program okay this is um, you know the criteria of a coercive persuasion program is to run these psychological operations a psychological warfare on the intended person or target or group of people right to basically destabilize them not just psychologically but socially economically right uh, family uh, structure okay and this is what they do and so they they will go around and I'm talking about those in the authoritative position, whether it be, the, you know, the who the, the architect of these programs, which is pop, the CIA, Department of Defense, you know, the FBI, and they use uh, local, state, and police uh, departments, right? And again, this has Coenter Pro, MK Ultra, Mind Control. On top of that, the development and the experimentation of you know, microchipping individual for the purpose of remote no monitoring, directed energy weapon in which you are, and the people around you, family, friends, if they're around you, uh, are being microwave, uh, right? We use with radio frequency, um, ra microwave and radio frequency uh, waves that 
basically operates on the same frequency as your brain right so when they talk about the brain initiative and mapping the brain they've already done that right they have remember the government in terms of the CIA Department of Defense in terms of development technology they are 10 to 15 years ahead of the private sector right and usually they work with the private sector or to work with um, academia but they are though when they work on certain things the the private sector and academia are not allowed to talk about these things right until they get the okay which is like 10 years later 15 years later when they decide okay you know we're going to start bringing this out to the mass public right so this is what they've been doing this is what they you know experimentation right and we as target individuals are the people who are put into these non-consensual experimentation program okay and so how would they select a person uh, to be in this program because again they need real world uh, you know uh, re results and information right feedback okay so one way is they can set you up or let's say um, they can manipulate you into committing a crime and again you wouldn't know okay if you read the book um, mind control language pattern right by Dante Lyon Jones okay mind control language pattern by Dante Lyon Jones so let me go to the scribe website and um, okay let's go back here let's close it up. Uh, okay mind control language patterns you can go to scribe and um, read it okay uh, if you want to download you got to pay for it but at least they let you they let you read it okay and he talks about what is called the dark patterns okay now when you when you look at you know as we as black people okay I'm gonna just say this okay I'm not I'm not talking to any other group of people I'm talking about black people and those that is gonna watch these videos because uh, they may laugh and think it's funny because they're participating in this right is that the jokes on them also because this have been used on us for centuries okay they have gotten so good at it now you know when you talk about you, you know you look at Nazi Germany with the experimentation with the Jews not just psychologically you know but medically you know but Hitler was more brutal right but the United States have, the United States have been doing that to black people from the onset right when you look at where Hitler got his eugenics program from, or the idea of eugenics from, it's from the Americans, from those right here in the America, in, in in America, who were doing eugenics to black people. Okay. So you know you have you know they do a great job. I will tell you, when it comes to like religion, and they, I know a lot of TIs out there who believe in religion, and hey, that's you know that's your issue okay because as much as you're praying to your God and you're praying to your Jesus you're still a targeted individual as much as you know you're you you you're wishing to be uh, to get out this program or to be alleviated from the you know the torture the psychological torture was the physical torture that you're experiencing it hasn't happened okay but you're still hanging on to that Jesus you're still hanging on to that Bible because you know what? It gives you a false sense of hope. Right? That's what it does. You know, that's your escape from the reality. But I, I don't have the luxury. I, I live in the reality. I'm not putting, I'm not escaping to no fantasy. Okay? I'm not praying to any, you know, uh, deity who doesn't exist. All right? So I just need to put that out there. Okay? But you can believe whatever you want to believe. Right, but as long as you're, um, you know, if if you talk about love and peace, is your religion, 
then talk about love and peace. Show love and peace. I may not believe in your religion, but I don't hate you. Okay? Now, if you hate me, then I'll hate you. Alright? I don't turn the other cheek. Okay? And this is why I've been doing this, these videos for how many years now? Right? Because no matter what they do, they have break up my relationships, you know, uh, damage me physically as well as uh, psych psychologically as well as um, neurologically right emotionally okay and they've gotten away with it because they've gotten the public to become involved in it right so as a TI okay if they try to accuse if you, they try to make you believe that you're accused of something don't believe it there is a underlying psychological manipulation that took place. There is an underlying brainwashing that took place. Okay? And these people, right, because they are in the authoritative position and because they've been hiding these types of technologies, okay, and because they use religious organizations and your religious belief system, Right? Because they know that they can manipulate you and pull you in. Right? Let me give you an example. You have millions of millions of black people walking around in America. Okay? That have been poisoned by lead when they were children. Okay? Now, when they get into their teenage years and started acting negative and you know getting in trouble with the law right and being arrested for behavioral issues what have you right other people look at them and say you know what's wrong with these kids you know they have is you know they have no home training it's their parents fault or what have you because again america loves to blame right the negative condition that we as black people suffer in this country on black people Right when it's the American government that's that created the vast con negative condition that we black people find ourselves in today, I have always found ourselves in in America, not just today, always. Okay, so now, as a person gets older, I'm not saying me, okay, but now when those people get get older, and again, you know, the history of behavioral issues. You know they're like okay well you know these people they, they may be crazy just put them in drugs and the drugs doesn't help because they have been poisoned they have been systematically poisoned and if you don't believe me a couple of years ago here in New York City there was something like 800 children between the age of four and seven that had lead poisoning and let's not forget Flint right so what happened to those children those kids when they grew up even the adults, right? As they as they get as they get older, guess what? They're gonna have behavioral issues, and guess what? The vast majority of them will end up in prison, okay? But somehow, it is their fault, right? But somehow, you religious Christians, particularly especially the black ones, who don't seem to want to live in the reality, who just want to go to church on a Sunday and pray and ask why Jesus the Savior and rescue you okay you know we have to start living in the real world I mean we live in the real world but I mean up here up here you know we have to get rid of that escapism right we're living in some of the worst conditions okay the times are different but trust me it's no better than it was back in the 1950s and when I say no better, I don't mean that, you know, because there's no progress. There's progress, right? But the progress is superficial, okay? I'm not counting superficial progress because you might be able to buy a nice car. You might be able to buy a house in a nice neighborhood, but that's not the majority of us. That's not even half of us. That's not even three quarters of us. Okay, how about that's less than about 
I shouldn't say less, but uh, less than five percent of us. Okay, so now when you start to see that in a different light, you get to understand. Right? Yes, we've made progress, but it's superficial. Okay, we have not made serious progress because guess what? Our children are still being poorly educated. We are still making less, right? The average wealth in terms of money that a white family has, which is like a hundred, I believe, I, I may not be right here, but maybe like $120,000 compared to like 7000 for black family. And that's the majority of black family. Okay? But yet, yeah, we made progress. Because we get to eat in the restaurants with the white people. You know? We get to go to the gym. You know? Again, superficial progress. Anyway, this is, you know, I already spent over 20 something minutes on this <laughs> talking about this. So let's move on. So, this, these dog patterns, right? You have to take into account. And the thing is that we, a lot of people don't believe this stuff. They don't believe it. No one the history. No one the history. Even their own experience. Right? Their own experience. Right? But because somebody said, oh, you know, don't pay no mind. You know, forget it. You know, I talked to my mom. She said the same thing. Oh, forget it. You know, pray to God. Whatever. I'm like, listen, don't come with that bullshit with me. I, I didn't say that to her, you know, but I'm just saying, you know, don't come with that nonsense. Okay? You've been praying to God your entire life. You've been busting your ass, working hard, hard, hard. Right? Working twice as hard as, as, as some of these people. Right? And for those black people who, some of the few of them that, that may get a chance, okay, they want to turn around and look at others and be like, well, psh, I did it, so you can do it too. I'm like, yeah, but you did it, but you're not talking about racism. You're not standing up for other black people. You're keeping your mouth shut because you know if you talk about it, they'll fire you behind. And guess what? you lose that house that you live in. And you don't want that. So we have been conditioned into individualism, selfishness. Okay, that's all part of dark patterns. Okay, it may not be to the extreme of what we as TIs have been, you know, that extra programming that we get that's very destructive, you know, to the point where your life is just goes down. Period. All right. So, again, these are dark patterns, and this is what he says. Right, he says. One can use mind control language patterns to create positive and lasting change in people, as well as feelings of trust, love, and affection. They can also be used to induce amnesia, fear, insecurity, doubt. These types of patterns are what we call dark patterns. I've seen the I've seen the results of those of these dark and destructive language patterns. They are devious because most people don't even know they ha they have happened. They live their life wholeheartedly with no purpose because someone meant to hurt them. If you know anyone, if you know of anyone using these mind control language patterns to injure you, to, to injure you have every right to act and stop them. Okay. So I just want you guys to understand this. Right? And for those who are not here as looking at this, understand what's going on. Because guess what? It can happen to you. It can happen to your son. Happen to your daughter. Happen to your mother. Happen to your father. You know, but we, you know, we have, like I said, we have an individualistic mentality. Well, you know, it doesn't. Ha if it not happened to me and my family, I'm good. It's okay. And some of y'all, you know, will actually participate in this nonsense because y'all think y'all do some good because you got these white people in law enforcement, the same ones that's killing us, coming to you and say, "Oh, this is what he did." What this? Do some research. Do some research and understand the type of technology these people have developed. Okay? And if they see you as a threat, right? They can frame you. They can make you even say shit that you that is not your own thought. But they in induce that thought in your mind because of these technology that they have. They can put thoughts into your mind, making you believe that it is your own thought. As you're talking, they can s put something in your mind and you can just say it. Okay? This is, you know, people think this is science fiction, but it's not, okay? It really isn't. All right, so uh, let me go back to the, the video. 
Um, and let's go back here. Okay. So I talked about in my target and how they use like reward and punishment. You know, this is something that that they love to do. Okay. And actually, I think I played the wrong video first. It should be this one. So as I said, I was going by Pam. This was July 4th. And here I am walking down this block to... That already. Alright. I don't know why this, this headphones keep uh, turning off. Oh uh, yes. Uh, you see me coming, you'll leave. To the prep. A woman standing out there. Okay. All right, so let me um, let me let, let me go back. Let me go back here a little bit. So you guys can see what's going on. All right, let me load that. Let me load that down a little bit. So. See here, this is a right. So, so what's happening here is that um, I am going to Pam to the bus stop, okay. And the whole week, there's been a police car parked up right there, okay. Now they just started doing that. Uh, they've been doing it for two weeks actually. So and they just started doing it, right? And there are times when I will walk down there and they'll come out their car or they'll be standing outside their car, and um, you know, so when they see me. Then they'll turn, look, or they'll do some motions, as you'll see here. Where, let me see if I can. Um, doing some editing on the fly. <laughs> let me bring this up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. So now they now they see me, they recognize me, right? So now he's going to step out. Okay. He's gonna step out. Okay, he's, he's like clapping his hands. And then the other one comes out. Okay. So. All right. So now, like I said, now they turn and they face me, and you know. Okay, and then they'll do this where they'll turn their back towards me, like we're turning our back on you. I'm like, do I give a shit? Do I care? Right? Do I care? <laughs> like, is that supposed to matter? I, actually, I love it. You know what I'm saying? Because these people have turned their backs on us. Okay, I'm not just talking about us as TI in general, but us black people also. Okay, so them doing that is no, it's, 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 it's no, uh, you know, I'm not hurt by it. Shit, <laughs> right? Okay, so you see how he, see how he sticks his head out to look, right? Watch. Because again, they do things to, it's like these micro, uh, aggression that they do see they uh, you know you know watch him okay watch this look so he sticks his head out right these little things and then he's gonna turn and he's gonna look at the window okay you see that look so now he turns okay he looks at his window and then he places his hands um, is that against his weapon it might against his. It looks like it might be his weapon. He places his hands and his weapon. But look at his eyes. He's looking up at the window. Okay, and you're gonna hear me say that. Let me just put the volume up, so you you can hear that, right? He's looking at the window. <laughs> okay. So. You know, 
then you hear the sirens. Did you hear the sirens outside? Because they're monitoring this video. Early on when I uploaded the, the video and I started, you know, just looking at it, putting everything in order, they started with the fire trucks, right? So they, they, they brought out the fire trucks. Man, I haven't heard the fire trucks in a while. Like about a couple of days, you know? <laughs> and and uh, they brought out the fire trucks, you know, when they saw that I'm, you know, the video, because I have this video uploaded already, you know, but I, I, when I was looking at it again today, I was like, oh, okay, I missed this. Because again, I couldn't see it on the phone because of the small screen okay but now that i'm seeing it i'm like okay so this is what i need to explain all right so also see these people standing here okay the, this is part of the street theater you know remember what i talk about um when i say like how sometimes there'll be a cop walking towards me or two cops walking towards me and there'll be a, a civilian in front of them you know, it could be one or two or three civilians in front of them. And as they approach me, the civilians will start sticking their hands in their ears, right? Uh, Sometimes they'll look back, they'll look at me, and then they'll turn around and look back at the cop, right? So I'm going to explain to you also with the, you know, you'll see the palm fixation drill, okay? And I'm going to explain that further, okay? All right, so... You'll see as I approach, right? You'll see how they turned around. She turned around, they turned it back. Okay, now she's gonna turn around again. Look, she starts to, you know, she puts her hands to her side now, but before she did that, he, her hands was on the side before, but then she moved her hands out so I can see the palm of her hands, right? Both hands, okay? And then she put it back on her hips, right? Now watch. So now she's going to turn around, and she's going to turn around, and as he turns around, he he looks, at, he comes out, look at me, he turns around, okay. And you'll see now the one wearing black, she starts playing with her hair, okay. She she actually stuck her finger in her hair in her ear first, then she starts playing with her hair. She starts brushing back her hair, right. Now the one in the pink, she she puts her hands down, you see the palm of her hand right you look at her the palm of her hand facing towards me let's see if I can get a better still okay all right maybe I'll just let it play so you see it right now check this out let me zoom this up even more so you guys can see it ah, too much too much okay uh, all right let's do that and okay okay let's do that I just need to um, blow this up so you guys can really see I know it's gonna be a long video I apologize <laughs> but I just had to say what I had to say and, and get this stuff off my chest all right so let's go back let's go back let's go back that's too much. All right, let's go back just slightly. All right. Okay. I'm just gonna let it play. Okay. So you're gonna see again. She puts her hands out, turns. All right. He moves out. Now she switched her hands and then what she did with the other hand, okay, let's see if I can pause it, see if I can get it right. She sticks her hands in her ear and then she starts playing with her hair, okay. Now the hand signal as the hands comes out because, you know, I'm going, I'm going by Pam, all right. And so what they have done 
like I said, all these years when me and Pam get into arguments because they have manipulated her, manipulated me, manip you know, microwave us and stuff like that. So, you know, me being targeted and not really understanding what was going on with the remote neural monitoring and stuff like that. You know, yeah, you know, emotionally, I was a wreck. They, they would, they would, you know, they had that emotional control over me, right? To where, you know, I was just going off of just emotions, right? Emotions that were negative. Right, and not negative in the sense of um, uh, what's, what I'm saying. Not, it's like when you're being psychologically harassed, and you just you know, you, you, it's like you your mind kind of like short circuit, right? Because you you know you're like trying to figure out what's going on, you can't really figure out what's going on, and so you kind of get upset, and you just you know I just leave, I just leave, right? And sometimes we get into an argument, I say stop talking to me and stuff like that. This is what they've been doing to a lot of people. Okay. All right. And so when they want to destroy your life, you know, I'm, I think I'm really and truly, I think my targeting, you know, because I said uh, I, I was first being targeted by um, by just by white cops and white people. You know, I remember before I even became before I was even aware of being a target, you know, being, um, you know, like being drugged, you know, when, when you go out to dinner. You know, you had a glass of wine or something like that, and you just feel like very. Uh, you felt you kind of felt like drug. You just have one glass of wine, a half a glass of wine, and you kind of feel like drugged. You know, and you get home and you just kind of like crash for no reason, right? And this is what they'll do. You know, if you're a black person and you're you stuff up, if you're a black activist, you gotta be careful of where you eat because these people will slowly poison you and kill you. They will slowly drug you to um, eradicate your mindset, right? to destroy your mentality okay and if they manipulated you and get you in a position to where they can arrest you right again who knows what they'll do to you when you fall asleep you know in that prison cell or that you eat. they might drug it you know and and you guys should look at um dr peter Berg and he talks about how uh what they used to do they used to basically kidnap black leaders right take them to the psychiatric hospital right and basically trying to brainwash them to change their mentality right to to basically stop them from any type of political activism okay so this country has a history okay so you see she's looking at me you see her hands there palm of her hands come down you'll see you know you see it right there he steps out right this way he steps out they're looking and they use their children too they use their you know they use their children they will use their kids okay that's to tell you how you know we talk about cults religious cults right on top of that you know i just you know whether it's the uh silent sound sped spectrum that's being broadcast you know for them to act like that i don't really know but i know when it's like this precise this is this is planned when they're using the way how she turned around looked at me did all what she's done meaning that they've told her that i was you know coming right and so let's go and then let me you see he's he'll start uh tugging on his daughter's shirt okay so i, I need to um okay i need to Okay, let's see here. Alright, let me move this up. Um, Alright, let me just move this up, alright? Okay. So he started to tug. I need to um, even more. I need to. Uh, that's too much. Uh, man, <laughs> this is a little bit difficult. I need like a scroll wheel or something. Uh, okay. Right, let's move that up. Okay, maybe this might be better. Let's see. All right, so remember I talk about the hands and they use the four fingers or three fingers at times. Okay, and Pam would do that to me all the time. Okay, so you'll see here he starts tugging on his daughter's shirt. Damn it! <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, okay, I think I need to do the. Uh, the side too, that's probably why. Uh, the left and right side. Um, and okay, let's see. OK. 
Okay. All right. That's uh, okay. So yeah. So again, they all you know they're standing there you know the, with their hands on the hip, except for him. He was in front of the, of the the lady in the in the black, and um, you know as I approach, he he steps out. You know, turns towards this little girl, and he starts, um, you know, basically uh, pulling on her clothing, right? Okay. So let me see if this is. Okay, let's go back slightly. All right. Uh, Still no good. Um, okay, that's uh Trying to okay, uh, yeah, no, this is painful. <laughs> I do apologize, but I needed to show. So, see now we go. Now, now it's uh. All right. So you see, right? The four fingers. Okay. And again, incorporating little ch little children, right? Incorporating kids in their targeting, right? Let's let me do this. Um, Okay, hopefully this will be here. Get right here. All right, so she steps out. She starts them right here. And there she go, with the hand signal. And also, did you see her look at the window? Again, you see? Did you see her look at the window? Right, exact same thing. Watch. All right, and then she she she'll turn, she'll look at the window. Okay, now here he is. Now he starts tugging on his daughter' clothes. Just in keep uh, knowing that. Uh. But anyway, you guys get the gist of it. All right. I mean, all right. So this is a you know this is a a long video. And um, but I need I need to show that I need to show that I need to show that 
All right, so now let's go to the other video in which I got on the bus and I got off the bus. Uh, here I am walking uh, on Pam's block. Okay, now as I'm walking, this guy's gonna you stand across the street, starts he starts walking over. Right now, I want you to watch that they're all wearing black. Okay, so again, sometimes you see them use the color red. Uh, now they're using the they're all, they're they're wearing black. You'll see he he gets to. These other uh, guys in front of this building, okay, and you'll see this woman here again from afar. She saw me. She started, um, you know, uh, playing with her hair also, okay. And then as she got closer like that, she starts smiling at me. Now I'm wearing a mask, right? I'm wearing a mask and everything, right? So now you'll see, like I said, they all this. He's wearing black. He's wearing black. Uh, you know, all four of them, right? All these, or the five of them. Uh, one, he's on the, on the, on the floor, sitting in front of the building. But they're all wearing black. They're all wearing black, right? And from time to time, when they, when I see like a sea of people wearing all black, there's always some very attractive woman that's approaching me, right? Sometimes they'll do it when I'm in the grocery store. Okay. Okay. I uh, can't really take get too good of a look at her and please uh i know i just paused it and she kind of looked a little strange okay so don't start with that reptilian nonsense all right <laughs> so uh i gotta turn the um camera off because my nose is just itching me and i, I and i hate to you know scratch it on camera because again you know it's like all of a sudden my you know this used to happen before in the past right <laughs> But it's been happening so much now. It's sitting here doing this video, okay, right? And so, down the block, right down down the block, you'll see another guy, right? He was standing on the um, on the railing, and he comes out. That's you see a little speck. If you look all the way down, it's a little speck. He's also wearing black, right? So again, this is this is what they do, right? This is part of the, how they talking, how they brainwash me. And again, I studied. I said to myself, you know what? You know, I I. At one point, I really, you know, I, I just kept, I was just going just on autopilot because that's how I was programmed, right? Without even really thinking critically. And so when I start to really study them and study, trial and error, going outside, looking at what they do, seeing what kind of colors they, they were wearing, then I started buying those colors. And when I started wearing those colors, they started like, oh, they started walking across the street, you know, because they were very intensely targeting me. Okay. And so now what they've been doing lately is that let's say if I, you know, today I'm wearing this color, right? Um, you know, uh, they'll send, if I'm at the bus stop, they'll send somebody wearing the exact same color just to target me, right? Which, you know, but again, you know, and they, they do it in a, in a blatant way, right? Because that's, it's a kind of shock and awe, right? So let's get to the next video. All right. So again so this is a saturday pam had went grocery shopping with her friend and she called me and she told me to come downstairs because she's you know she's here right so i get downstairs and i see that they're parked and she's in the car and then she turns i guess she must she might have seen me come inside and i'm like okay if you are parked you could have taken some of the groceries out and bring them upstairs but this is not it again this is the palm fixation so now they get her involved right so now she's going to be involved on what she's going to do and i'm going to explain it to you guys uh okay um, let's let me get a little uh close up here you know and a lot of times i, I wrestle with the fact of whether pam normally is involved in this or not you know, sometimes I'm like, okay, she must know what she's doing because you know, just the way how she responds, and then she also, when she's targeting me, she'll also look at me, right? Or uh, like, let's say today when I had my phone uh, in my hand, she was in front of me targeting me, and then she turned around and saw I, she had, she saw I had my phone in my hand, and then she moved to the side of me, right, to try to see if I was recording her, okay? And then, uh, cause she she actually went today to buy a car. She went with her ex to buy a car, right? So when she came in. She didn't even show me the car. She just told me about it. She didn't show me the car. The only the only time she showed me the car, when I was getting ready to leave, because I wasn't going to do this video today, but I was getting ready to leave, she came over and basically like stepped on my foot, right? She stepped on my foot, and then 
she showed me the vehicle. Now she was texting somebody talking about the car that she that she bought today, what she put a, a down payment on, right? When she came in the house, she didn't sh you know she didn't show me the car. And this was like a whole two hour afterwards. So she was texting somebody. She didn't even show me to say, hey Nigel, this is the car. This is what it looks like. She only showed me the car afterwards, right? Because I was going to leave, and it was a, a the, it was a black car, right? So again, so I come downstairs. And here she comes, all right? She gets out the vehicle. Like I said, she could have gotten out the vehicle, but because again, you know, they, it's like, I feel like they plan these things out, right? And it's just kind of ridiculous because they put so much time and effort. And I think a lot of the times also, not a lot of time, but some of the times, you know, this is um, remote no monitoring. This is uh, radio wave, microwave control. You know, if you, re if, you if you ever read uh, Dr. Jose Delgado book called um, uh, Psych uh, Psycholize uh, Control of, of the, of the world, something like that, something, um, Dr. Jose Delgado, what is it, I have the damn book, see, that's my, um, my bad memory, <laughs> Delgado, um, uh, yep, okay, see, his, his, his book is called Physical Control of the Mind, Towards a Psycho Civilized Society, emotions right and you guys need to read up on this on this guy all right he was literally using radio wave frequency to control people and to control animals all right so you know i'm not kidding so you know like i said you know we 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 want to think that these things are not happening i mean we as ti's we know this is happening okay we know what's being done right but the fact that they can always use the site they can always then we'll always use psychiatry and you know we'll talk about that and again this is going to be a long video maybe two hours um, so just bear with me, okay? It's just I got a lot to say because I really haven't had the time to really do a video like this, all right? In quite a while. So let's continue, all right? So yeah, let me. I'm gonna put the volume up on this one so you guys can hear. Oh, yeah, pocket. You can come upstairs. Okay. Now see the hand movement the palm of the hand movement okay all right so let's see okay all right okay So, so what what do you see? What happened here, right? Can, did you guys make out anything? All right. Oh, yeah, pocket. You can come upstairs. Let me explain. Again, the color red. Again, the the hand signal, right? Now, palm of the hand, right? Okay. Now her friend is going to come out, right? So she has a red bag, right? And now, uh, see with the index finger, we might talk about this in my targeting, and you'll see, you know, she has a red, uh, you know, keychain, right? Okay. So again, you know, they they've been using the color red a lot lately. Okay? And so 
you know, sometimes, like I said, sometimes I'm just like, does she really know what's going on? Cause I'm just like, okay, she went grocery shopping. So how is it that, you know, but then again, you know, they do move with precision, with military precision. You do research on this stuff when it comes to uh, psychological operation and those that are trained in it. And they've trained the civilian population, right? Some civilian population to engage in these type of things. Okay. And so, you know, we talk about, I'll talk about Zerzo Zung, I'll talk about Quantum Pro. And in Zerzo Zung, which is, well, that was used in, um, in East Germany, the Stasis, you know, they will pay citizens. They pay citizens. Either give them good jobs, uh, you know, um, like for now with this program, please, they, you know, they give you good credit. They'll do all this stuff. They'll uh, pay your, um, you know, your school, uh, if you, your school loans, or they'll just be like, you know, they would just forget about your school loans, right? All of a sudden, your school loans just disappear, right? And not me as TI. I'm talking about these perps. That's, this is how they pay them because they can't give them checks, right? Checks and stuff like that, you know, payment into bank accounts, those, can, those are traceable, okay? So they do it in other favors, right? And there are times when, you know, she'll do something, you know, to make me feel like she's tight with these racist police you know like she'll 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 sometimes she'll do her fingers like this okay after she's after she's done pointing like this okay and i remember i talked about uh at my job how this police officer white police officer would you know i should i would take the the stairs for some reason you know i was but i always take the elevator but those times that i take the stairs he was always there in the bottom of the stairs you know, with his hand against the railing, with his finger pointed like this. Okay. So, again, this is uh, you know, this is uh, to me, some of it is deliberate. Some of it is like they they know and they know that I think that they know that the technology is being used on me and on them. Okay, uh, that's just my feeling, right? But I guess they figure that you know, since it you know the, you know when they used to talk about like sometimes they'll, they'll be like security or public safety like i'm some type, some sort of threat i'm not a threat to pam i mean please i've never hit any woman i've never assaulted any woman and any woman said i hit them i assaulted them they're lying okay plain simple i don't put my hands on women okay i walk away all right and when i walk away guess what the woman they they tear my clothes off they they they, they want to hit me in the back right they want to tear up my clothes right but yet, as you know, but again, it's the, it's the demonizing of black men. And also, I can understand, right, how, you know, why I see that, um, how some, some black men are abusive, right? Because they're being conditioned in that manner, right? But we don't want to talk about that. We don't want to talk about that at all, right? Because they got, like I said, they got us believing that, you know, our own actions is what we do, what have you. I'm like, okay. When they have the majority of us, in you know in an even worse state than we are right now then people might start listening but at, that, at the time it'll be too late because there'll be too few okay to really do anything and to really make noise about what's going on okay so now uh let's go to the next video so this is this morning this morning um Going to the bus early this morning. And as I again cross the street, this guy right here, you see him up here at the top, he crosses the street. And he start, you know, again with the hand signal, right? So I started recording. Okay. Uh, okay. I just need to. You know, all right. Oh. Okay. So now you see, you see a person in blue. This is an older gentleman. He's just he's wearing a blue shirt. And he's just standing there. And then you'll see this is a Hispanic woman or a Latinx woman, uh, you know, open up her salon. Now, this salon will open that early in the morning. Okay, this was uh, about 8 o'clock, I would say. Maybe, yeah, just, just after 8, right? 
but this morning she's out there okay and also lately they've been using a lot of Hispanic women okay a lot of Latinx women sorry okay I know you know trying to find a, the right terminology here so you know this is all new so I mean not new but you know I've been trying to you know all habits right sometimes all habits are, are tough to break okay so you see the, the old guy he's standing there just standing there right now you'll see look at her she's looking up all right, all right again um, then you'll see her look over at him to let him know that I am close okay you'll see her right there as she looks over and at that point he starts walking okay Waiting on the back post. There you go. See, I'm glad I got that right. He was just standing there. I knew I was going to get some footage. Okay. Okay. Alright, so now you're going to see these construction workers. Once again, this is all orchestrated. Okay, as I approach, you'll see he's puts his phone up to his ears. Okay, and he holds his phone as he's making his finger like a gun. You can guys can see it right there. And as I get closer, Okay, right there. He starts to spread his finger apart like a V. Okay, so again, the threat. And, um, you know, this is how they mass the uh, subliminal threats, right? Okay, and you see, as I got close, you see, you, he waits till I get close to move, right? Because, again, there are certain things that he wants me to see. So, again, the threat, psychological threat, right? Make his finger like a gun. And then putting the V sign up, the P sign, I mean, the P sign, right? Then the Metro card, okay? Again, because they're not accepting Metro cards on the bus. The bus is free, right? So, you know, but whatever reason, what I, I don't even, you know, sometimes I just feel like they do the Metro card thing as to try to show me that they, they're going to trap me to, to the Metro card. But, you know, in New York City, the buses are free. Okay, but like I said, they always try to um, send you some type of message. Now look, look, <laughs> right? You see how he purposely holds his phone. You know he moves his phone away from him, right? So now, because you know I'm recording, right? And there's a chance that I might look, and so that, that he wants me to see. You're damn right, I'm recording. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now you'll see this guy coming here, right? This guy stand up there. They all looking because they know, and he starts to, you know, you see he he does this. He keeps doing this, right? So when he does this, okay, and the reason why he does that, I'm gonna tell you what. The reason why he does that is because the brainwashing that they've done to me, okay? There's a phrase that I'm supposed to say in my mind when they when they do that, okay? But I don't do that shit anymore. I don't say it anymore. I've 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 basically um replaced those things and I've done it so many times that when he was doing that, nothing. I was I was just walking, didn't even think about anything. But I remember, right? I don't even remember I don't even remember the phrase. Okay? But I know it has to do with a with, with a, a word that they put into my psyche, into my subconscious, and that's why when they do that. So now, as he's walking, he turns his head to the side, okay, 
and he's looking down on the, the on the sidewalk on the concrete. Tell you. you guys see the pattern? So now you see as I get close, now they all start moving, right? They all start Eventually, shifting position. He starts touching himself, start right? As it, look, did you right. see that? Did you see? Did you see? Did you see the hand signals, right? I'm gonna explain it to you one by one, one at a time. Check it out. You guys see the as I get close, he starts moving to the side. He's, he's, he's he grabs his butt, right? One in the blue. The other guy now in the white. He's looking. Okay, watch what happens. These are all hand signals. You see, let me explain something. All right? When my targeting first began, I was at work. And my manager used to um, call me over to review a job. He would always do this hand signal, right? With his hands um, either on the table, right? With his, with his pinky finger sticking out, right? And, and I was like, okay, but you, you know, how how you holding, you know, because again, before you become a target, you, you, you see, you know the behavior. After you become a target, you start to notice these things because these are things that were never done before. And it's odd because sometimes, you know, when he does that, right, uh, if he's holding something, it will fall out of his hands, right? It will fall out of his hands so you can hold it properly, but he still persists on doing it. Okay, now check this out. Now, what's the one in the white t-shirt? What's the hands? Okay. Alright, remember the index finger? Then he takes his phone out. Okay, and then he gives me the middle finger. Did you see that? Did you see that? Right, let it play because I want to pause it as he puts it back watch puts his hand like right. a, makes his hand like a gun as he puts his phone back in his pocket okay and he takes it back out again and then the other one bows his head and he turns and and and, and, and he's walking look right eventually these idiots is gonna stop popping up see so again okay and now the first threat is reinforced by other threats okay psychological threats you know and people will say oh you know it's your interpretation no it's not my interpretation okay it is what has been put into my mind right had they not did what they did in terms of brainwashing me putting these things into my subconscious okay I wouldn't react the way that I react but you remember they have spent Decades, decades, uh, experimenting on people in mind control, subliminal message, everything, and to get the civilian population involved, right? Okay. Now they may say oh, they might want to accuse me of something, or what have you, and that's fine. Okay, but let's look at it from a different perspective. If you manipulate someone using psychological tactics and programming okay in order to destroy that person's life okay and you use negative condition in order to destroy that person's life and that person go act negative in whatever way whatever capacity right guess what no one knows. As Dante Lion Jones says, he says, no one will know what has been done to that individual. Right? No one. Because someone had meant to hurt that person. And the thing is, when they do this, they think that they can get away with it. But no, you're not. Because guess what? You meet the wrong one. And the right one to expose what's going on. Okay? The use of... Uh construction workers right with the hot hacks now they're not done and you can see some some of the strangest things so you'll see this woman here right look she's spraying the sidewalk 
she's spraying the sidewalk now you know you know why she's spraying the sidewalk and there's no need to free to spray the sidewalk okay she came out she, obviously she was cleaning her house she came out of her house just to spray on the sidewalk as i'm approaching i'm walking because again we're talking about so what is the spray chemical right chemical you know you hear you, you hear ti's talk about uh they're being chemically sprayed right because of whatever fumes they're letting into their apartment or their house what have you so this is where these things come from and again it's to cause you to to to, to condition you right to to break your personality to try to make you schizophrenic delusional okay but it's not a truly inherent uh, mental illness that you suffer from it is something that's that has been done exteriorly now you see as I as I approach her because she doesn't want you know I mean she got a mask on so it doesn't matter but you know she just don't want me to get a, a really good close-up uh, <laughs> you know shot of her right or video of her okay so you'll see her here okay she turns around and she walks back in as she's looking at me now right Yes. Close her door. Run inside. Okay. See now as I pass her, she opens she up her inside. door because I heard it. Okay. And at that point, I turned around. Let me see if I if I'm able to. Oh, I didn't really care. Okay. But I turned around. I thought I had the you know the the, the, the camera the to um, get. Her. Mm -hmm. Right. So you know this is this is what they do, right? And you'll see here, right? Um, as I turned, you know. And guess what? He's wearing a yellow shirt. I'm wearing a yellow shirt, right? And they're not done, because I said I've, this is I've been through this already. And you know, I have to be able to explain this to to, to people, because again, they're playing on your emotions, you know, telling you that you're scared or what have you. Well, how am I scared, right? I am doing these videos. I'm exposing everything that you're doing, but I'm scared. If you accuse me of doing something, right? And you're law enforcement, or you're the CIA, or the Department of Defense, what have you, then why not show up at my door, right? It is obvious that you're the one that's fr that's scared because you know what you've done and what you're doing, okay, is one, goes against the Nuremberg Code on, on non-consensual human experimentation, two, you're torturing people, three, Right, you're subjecting them to all sorts of psychological tactics and manipulation. Okay, four, you're causing bodily harm as well, uh, right? And five, neurological harm. Six, psychological harm. Seven, societal harm. Eight, economic harm. Nine, destroying relationships. Ten, destroying their families the relationship with their family okay and when they do this right and this is they use this technology what is the effect it has on our children right what did what is the effect it has on the teenagers right when you participate when, when you when you even when you go to these people and say okay I'm, I'm a person of authority and we know what happens we've, we've seen experiments before the the Stanley Milgram experiment right these people they know what they're doing it is these ignorant people out here who's participating in this whether they w willingly or not because I'm sure some of them watch my videos fail to understand that that they are causing you damage also because guess what you start to develop a narcissistic personality thinking that you can treat other people the way that you're treating targeted individuals and this is why we have a disconnect of an, an individualism in this society because no one cares for each other anymore particularly as black people Right? I know the, I know listen, I know there are white TIs, there are Asian TIs and all that stuff, but I'm just saying as a group of people as a whole, okay, who have been systematically oppressed, more so than any other group of people within the last five hundred years. Okay? To turn around and participate in this, it just shows you how powerful these technologies are these brainwashing processes these these psychological manipulation tactics are okay and so this is this is this is what they'll do right so again and this is it's, it is a very um, 
you know, clever way of trying to prevent TIs, or prevent victims from coming forward and exposing it. So what they'll say is that, well, okay, if he's exposing it and he's recognizing these things, then yeah, he must be guilty, right? Right? If you get the person to believe they committed a crime, and that if you allow them to experiment on you, then they'll then you know they won't be charged with that crime, right? So they try to use that as a coercive means of trying to gain uh, consent, right? But in fact, it's manufactured consent, right? Because they control the board. I don't control the the, the um the chessboard. They control the chessboard, and and they control the pieces. Okay, I'm, we as TIs, we're just pawns, just like everybody else. We are just pawns that are being used and moved around. Okay? But people can't see that. You know, because they have the majority of people, particularly black people, right? You know, joyful in their oppression. Or don't even think about it. Okay? Yeah. I'm not the one. I'm going to make you motherfuckers sorry you've ever, ever done this to me my twin any other person that came before us and any other person that you will even attempt to do this to in the future let's go next and thank you for the honk <laughs> yeah people are going to know in the future exactly what it is that you're doing they're going to know right and a lot of people do already know okay so head into the next bus stop and You'll see this guy here again. They like to use this that that uh, public safety security theme. So here he comes. He has on his security jacket. He looks at his phone. See, this is what they've been doing. I've been showing you consistently, right? Looks at his phone. Puts it down. Then he's gonna look at it again. Okay. Now he's not touching it. Now he's just looking at it. So it's not like he 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 touched the button to see you know because you know his, his screen is blank. Right, so you didn't see his finger go to press the button to to say, okay, he's looking at anything on on the screen. Just a blank screen. It's just an action that they do, right, to let me know that you know they tap my phone, right, or they bug my phone. Okay, and this is a new phone that I've got, that I got. Okay. All right, and so now, okay, we at here. Yeah, not too bad this morning. Okay, so here you'll see they'll pull out another tactic, right? In which they'll have a person that's mentally ill. Okay, they'll come stand next to me. They start talking to themselves, right? Or within my presence, and they start talking to themselves. That's him right there. You see, he said you're, vi you're videotaping, huh? Now, how does he know I'm videotaping? Now, check this out. Woman walking across the street. Okay. Look what she's going to do. She's going to take her, her air plug out of her ear. Right? Okay. All right. Now, lately, they've been, you know, I guess because I'm, I'm videotaping, so she's not trying. So, this, again, this is a... Uh, uh, a um what's the word I use? A masking. Masking, right? So again with the gun finger, right? Again she's tall like Pam. Again I'm going by Pam, so this will happen. So she's tall like Pam. You know, has has on the same kind of wig that Pam Pam is wearing. Right? This guy comes, he stands up across the street with his hands behind his back. Okay. And so and that's lately Pam been been doing a lot of the palm fixation drill on me. And then some, sometimes, you know, um, like it's particularly if there's a siren, a police siren outside, she start doing the the, um, the palm fixation drill, you know. And I'm here sometimes. I just I stay here. I mean, I haven't I have not slept over here since we got into that big argument. But, you know, this is what they're doing. Like saying, you know, L, you know, if you, you know, um, try to get back with Pam, 
you know, you'll get shot, you might get arrested. So you see how she, with her fingers, right? She didn't extend both her fingers, but what she did is that she extend just half of them, right? Again, it's like a, a subliminal threat, right? And this is just a masking technique that they use. Okay, then you see the guy, red shirt. Oh, sorry, not decorating, but mentally disturbed. Let me get to the point and start talking to himself. Okay. Now, I'm waiting for the bus. Uh, let me just. Okay, so you have, I think, okay, let's go here. So you'll see this woman, she's wearing a blue shirt. Um, she comes and she stands up right there, and then she starts doing these hand signals. Okay, because you see that you know she's looking at the guy who um, the one that was talking to himself that when I turn and he asked he said you're recording her. So he went across he went across the street and you saw him walking back, right? And she's looking. That's him right here, right there. Okay. As he's walking back, she starts to do these hand signals, hands behind her, her, her you know, hands behind her head as she's looking at him, you know. You know, before that, she was sticking her hands out with her fingers out. Okay. Again, palm, palm fixation. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Now you see. You see the signal. Watch. I want you guys to watch. So I kept the the phone on her, recording her. Okay. Now, look at that. See, the extension of the pointing the finger again. All right. Okay. And she walks away. All right. So let's, you know. Okay. So, uh, no, I'm not done, baby. I'm almost done. Okay, so now you see this uh, Latinx uh, woman. Okay, as she's across in the street, she was. Uh, let me see if I can actually get a video of her crossing the street, um, doing the hand signal. Okay, so you see, as she comes across the street now, she goes back to doing the hand signal of the head, the hands behind the the head, right? So basically, what they what they'll do is that they'll find uh, someone that they can try to use to try to, you know, uh, accuse me of whatever it is that they're trying to accuse me of, right? They do that sometimes. They use a Jewish woman. Sometimes they use black woman. Sometimes they use Hispanic woman. Sometimes, uh, I, you know, I'm not sure they have used um, Asian women too, okay? But I have not been able to really get them on video as I should, right? So you'll see. She comes across and again they'll always find somebody they'll always find somebody new always find somebody new see now he's wearing a yellow shirt as I'm wearing a yellow shirt and he still starts sticking his hands his fingers in his ears okay okay Now the woman wearing the red bag, she they know each other because she turned she turned around and she looked at her, right? So again, this is again all perpetrated. Okay. Orchestrated and perpetrated. Okay. So she turns around, she's like, no, mm, I'm gonna sit over here. Right behind her. Okay. Uh, she sits in the seat, Latin next woman starts again playing with her hair. Okay. And you know, I'm, I'm just I, I'm just trying to enjoy the ride. And um, then they started with the targeting. Okay. 
they'll, they'll, they will purposely stare at me, turn around and stare at me, and do these hand signals. So I started recording. Okay, once I start, once I start recording, she starts to look at her nails. She, you know, she starts doing this, right? Looking at her nails. And again, my apologies um, to the TIs watching this. If you're targeted the same way, it's not my intent to, to target or trigger you. All right? But this is what she was doing. Okay, you'll see that immediately. Okay, uh, hold on a second, me. Oof, uh, all right, <laughs> I talked about this, right? Uh, okay. Again, my, you know, and this is the, this is the technology that's that's we're at work here that's doing this, right? Whereas that, you know, I'm constantly my nose is constantly itching me, and I don't know why. Okay, but when I used to do these videos a lot before, it would happen to me all the time. Okay, and what it is is that using the technology for me to touch my nose or scratch my nose so that I can target the target individuals that are watching these videos okay and this is how they're able to use the technology again on you and other people too right I'm not going to say that I'm not going to you know say you know and so there is uh, but for, with with the perpetrators out there okay if you're not a TI there is a level of awareness of knowledge of you know the technology that's been used and done but they make them believe they may say well you know that's God right so they see, see this is how they circumvent you know the uh I try to um make these people believe that these technologies don't exist as we're talking about these things right but they do because again you know religious people are very easy to, easy to control they may not think that they are okay because it's um, to me that is like the most ridiculous thing but this is what religion does to mind it binds the mind religion means to bind the mind okay so, yep, there she go. And then you'll see this one here too. Both of them tag teaming, you know. And she should just move her hands, but she did it very slightly. Because again, it's the thumb, you know, sometimes they like to stick their thumb out. Okay, now look, look, look. Again, with the pinky finger, and then have the middle finger. Right? Okay. Watch. See how she takes her index finger, stick it out slightly, and then, you know, move it inward so I can see her middle finger. Okay? These are all very subtle masking techniques of psychological harassment. Right? Okay? And before they started targeting me, they both looked at this Latinx woman <laughs> sitting in front of them. And there's a reason why they sat behind her, okay? Okay, so now you see this one now. See the index, the pointing finger again? And I already explained to you what that means. And who that, you know, is, is what is called uh, uh, triggers and anchors, doc NLP, uh, using the power of association where you can condition someone a certain way and then uh, later on you can do certain things in which that per that person would associate it with something or someone or some place what have you you know psychological you know warfare okay and you know she was sitting there at the bus was leaving and this was like a maybe about five minutes into uh, us getting on the bus okay so they have to wait until you know what, what you know they had to wait but it she has been in her bag for those five minutes looking in her bag uh, looking over at me looking in her bag looking over at me and so I didn't stop recording and I, they probably figure I probably stopped recording but I, st I still kept recording okay now you notice it, uh, she, they don't even have the camera on them but they don't turn around and say hey you know such and such right because they know what they're doing they know what they're doing right so they want to act as if you know they don't know because then what it is is that they don't want to give you any sort of um, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? Uh, they're, like, they don't want to recognize what you're doing, you know? Because again, it's psychological, so they want to make it act as if um, you're not doing this. She goes pinching her nose through the mask. Okay? Okay? Now, at this point, I had stopped the recording, all right? And I sh you know, I should have kept recording, but you know, it's, it is it is a it is quite a ride. 
um, when I stopped the recording, the Latinx woman in front, she started like kicking her feet back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, right? And then she gets off at the same stop that I get off at to go to Pam's, right? <laughs> Which is our Bedford and Church. Okay? The exact same stop, right? But she, she like literally like bolted out the bus before I can even like start, really start recording. And so, um, you know, because I had my bag uh, and I had my cane. And so when I got off the bus, I was walking to the corner. I took my phone out and I started recording. She was gone. She literally like bolted out the bus. Okay. All right. So now you'll see this lady here in the red. Because again, they always got to have the red, particularly in this type of targeting. All right. Looks like the lady with the red bag. Right. So her constantly looking at her in her red bag, you know, searching, like searching in there again, you know, is to condition me so that when I get off the bus, you know, anybody's wearing red or maybe a red bag or wearing a red shirt or red clothing will get my attention. OK. Now, again, we're talking about this is uh, eight something in the morning. It is not hot. All right. It is not hot. And as I approach this woman here, she, you'll see she has a tissue in her hand, right? And then she starts to wipe her face, right? As if she's sweating. You're not sweating, girl. You're not sweating. And she's looking at me because, again, they, they know. They know. And look, you know, I, you know I'm not going to be quiet about this stuff because I need to expose this stuff, right? So when people look at this, they know exactly what's being done so that it would not have the effect in them that it did on me in the beginning right because when you don't know is when you're at their uh when you when you add a severe disadvantage and they're at a severe advantage because you have no idea you have you have no knowledge of these things okay so my job is to give people the knowledge of what's being done okay and and again you see this guy now he starts you know playing with his nails but he acts as if he's looking at his phone There's another masking technique remember the lady on the bus when i turned my phone to record her she stared at her nails he's doing the exact same thing too okay because if you look at his hands you look at his other hands you know it's like he's you know um you know sometimes you pick your nails right and that's what he's doing okay and then you see the guy he's looking at the window at the car right and again so as I approach you know she let's go back here because I need to show this all right now once you see how she took her hands from underneath the book and again this is all orchestrated with the highlighter in her hands and as she's acting as if she's going to write something, but she's not, but what she's doing, you'll see her middle fingers extended out, pointing at the book. Okay? And again, what is she moving? But a red bookmark. Okay? Now, the red, I used to associate it with, with anger. You know, because again, they, try, they use it to, whenever they target me heavily to red you know kind of like a like a um like when both see red they, they they get you know it's a color that makes them angry so again this is using that same sort of um uh, uh, uh dynamics in terms of you know them trying to condition me into being angry because again i was going over by pam right to watch the kids while she go look for a car and she was going with her ex right and we've been getting into a lot of arguments about her ex because she's just not not honest with me you know telling me that he was he's a friend and what have you until i found out that you know that she slept with him and she was like well we weren't together yeah the reason why we weren't together because you know what you wanted to do and so you targeted me got me upset emotionally uh, manipulated me right and then you went and did what you had to do or, that, or what you want to do and even when we were in a good point in our relationship her and her ex was, you know, sexting and, and having phone sex and all this other stuff. And she's sending him naked pictures or what have you, right? 
okay and again i think sometimes sometimes i think that you know because i'm a ti she thinks she can do these things right and this is what you know and not to say that i don't love pam i do but i think because the way i'm being targeted because of of of, of the things that are being done to me i'm targeted you know and the fact that i'm trying to protect my kids also and i'm trying to protect her and let her know that you're being manipulated you know but you know i can't compete with that because again you know they're destroying my life right while you know they're they're helping her and her in her in her life okay to you know pull us apart in which she now feels that she's better or she's you know more successful and you know her family and friends are like oh you know why are you with Nigel? You know he's 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 you know he's crazy. He's this he's that. So this is what they do, right? If you if you read the same book, Mind Control Language Pattern, it talks about these things, and they, they call it the boyfriend. He calls it Dante Lion Jones calls it the boyfriend girlfriend destroyer. Okay, and so this is what they do, and also the deliberate. If you're a TI, the deliberate destruction of of your of your of your life, your job, your, your financial uh, uh, security, basically puts you your, you know in a caste system. Right, because as black people, so this has a double effect on me as a black person. As a black person, we're already in a caste system, but as a black TI, we we're, we're even in a more underclass right system. Okay. All right, and there she's she's looking at the car windows as she's uh, walking. Okay, and so at that point, I'm walking in front of her. Right now, you see the the person in front of me. Now she drops her phone down in her hands, right? Sticks it out a little bit, and now she bows her head and turns. Okay. All right. So, um, let me do this real quick. All right. This is an article from The Guardian, 2019. The article is about this uh, woman who was systematically, like, destroyed, right, during uh, her time in when um, the Russians, you know, control East Berlin, right? So systematic degradation, oh, I've been shafted twice, Stasi's victim and their quest for compensation. Systematic de uh, degradation by state police resulting in lost careers and poor mental health has been hard to prove for many seeking compensation. Right? On a summer day in 1962, a year after the building of the Berlin Wall, three men in gray trench coat interrupted a German lesson at a secondary school in Malau on the sudden outskirts of the East German capital. One of them pointed a finger at 14-year-old Regina Herman and beckoned her to leave the classroom. The men informed her, her, uh, Herman that the ruling Socialist Unity Party considered her father an enemy of the state, a capitalist exploiter because he ran his own business, a hairdressing salon in the old system, they said. Bourgeoisies, offspring like her, could have counted on a university education no more. She would not be allowed to continue attending a school in a socialist one-party state and could bury her dreams of becoming a doctor right there and now. This is what they do. When we as TIs talk about how our kids are also being targeted, because this is what they do. When we as targeted, if you have kids, our kids are being targeted. And it doesn't, if, if, if we even, if we're not around our kids, like some TIs do, they leave their kids thinking that, uh, that, um, that the kids are going to be okay, they're not going to be targeted. That's a fallacy. That's what they want you to do. They want you to leave your, you know, your kids running from, from your responsibility, right? But I, I didn't do that. I've never done that in any of my kids. Never. Because I knew that I had to be the one to be there so I can let them know and I can educate them about this thing, this stuff. So if that they are targeted, as they get older, they will not fall into the traps. Okay? All right. So, 
In the coming months and years, Herman often had a feeling she was being followed. Men were always at her heels, she recalled, like a shadow in her town. There were suddenly rumors that she was a fiction, an easy girl. Working at her father's saloon, men would make lewd comments or touch her inappropriately twice at a, a fun fair and on a night bus. Men tried to rape her. Okay? This is, uh, you know, I'm not going to go through the whole article, stuff like that. But, you know, this is, this is um, you know, things that were done to people, right? And people think, us, you know, we talk about America. But America is the same way, too. America, you know, we like to talk about freedom. But America is, is the, the only freedom people who have the only people who have freedom in america is is, is white people okay all right and if you are a white person and you are you are a true ti you know then i can i'll i'll i can say that you know yeah you know you're you're in the caste system like us do okay <laughs> so you know um but the majority the vast majority of white people okay have true freedom okay so uh, let me just say this. Uh, so it says uh, it talk about a treaty that happened. Article 17 of the treaty that sealed the unification of East and West Germany promised that victim of politically motivated measures would be entitled to appropriate compensation. Now here in the United States, when they experiment on you and shit like that, you know, they try to hide it, and so you don't know about it. They, they're not they're not giving you any compensation. If if you're if they screw your um your psyche your psyche up, you know your mind state, you know you might. They label you with a mental illness and say, okay, you know, you're on disability, but what's disability, right? You can't even pay your, you know, if you're living in New York, you can't even pay your you pay a rent for disability. Even if you're renting a room, you know, that's, that's, that's your disability money right there. You can't do nothing else with it. Okay. And that's just rented a room, right? And then you can't work because you go, you try to get a job, they'll de either they'll deny you. And if you do get a job, it's very, a uh, 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 low wage job. Right, and on top of that, you're targeted at your job so much that you know you don't stay. And if you do stay, it has devastating effect on your psyche. Right. So, you know, like I said, this is nothing new. This is nothing new. I've said this before. This has always been done all throughout history, to throughout society. That's why it's important that we learn history. This is nothing new. It happened in here in the United States. This is how they get people. They pay people. They, you know, to participate in it. They go to the religious community and get them to participate in it. This is what they do. They, they, they use uh, uh, national security as a tool, um, uh, uh, public safety as a tool, right? When they're the ones that are a threat to national security and public safety, not you, the TI. They're the ones that are. Okay. All right. So let's move on here. Stasi tactics. Uh, Ethan wanted to get on his computer. I'm sorry, Ethan. I'm, uh, uh, I'm almost done. So this is an article. This is um, a website, uh, Max uh, Hertzberg, right? You talk about after the East German population upri uprising in June 1953, suppressed by Soviet troops, the government gave the Stasi the task of systematic systematic surveillance and prevention of unrest in its population. And this is exactly what's happening now. Okay. History repeats itself. It's not happening in Germany because Germany learned. Okay. I mean, not to say, you know, surveillance of, of civilian population will happen in Germany, but not to the extent that it, it did during the Stasi era. And even today, you know, for the past uh, 40 years in the United States, particularly when it comes to black people. All right. Our, our community are heavily surveilled. They pass laws that we don't even know about. OK. Until somebody get arrested and like, what you get for what? You know, but this is what they do. Right. Okay, so let's talk about the, some of the... Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Let me stop. Listen, guys. Cut it out, okay? I'm almost done. So, uh, in, on the website, earthpulse.com, I'm rushing through this because I'm trying to end this video. Um, you talk about uh, synthetic telepathy and early mind uh, wars. This is uh, Richard Allen Miller, who used to work for the CIA. Uh, you know, he was doing research on these things, research and development, Right? And so, this is what he says, right? Frey found that human subjects exposed to uh, 1310 megahertz and 2982 megahertz microwave at average power densities of 0 0.4 to 2 millimeter wave centimeter square perceive auditory sensation described as buzzing or knocking sound. The sensation occur instantaneously 
at average incident power density well below the necessary for known, for known biological damage and appear to originate from within or near the back of the head. Right? Again, what if this is pulse microwave? Right? So, you, you know, you talk about, you know, the audible clicks and sound that you hear, right? That bypasses the air canal. It's same as silent sound spread spectrum technology. Where they're able to put whatever it is that they want into your mind. Basically, take over your own consciousness, right? And put a consciousness that they have pre recorded, pre developed, right? And concentrate that uh, program on you, the target individual, through my, the uh, microchip, right? Which is tune, you know, whatever frequency the microchip is receiving. You know, it's, it's just tuned to you personally, right? And then there's a broad spectrum of microwave, radio wave uh, signal that's broadcast, right? And those, that is what affect the people around you, okay? So, synthetic telepathy talks about this, all right? It says, in 1975, researcher A.W. Guy stated that one of the most widely observed and accepted biological effect of low power excuse me <laughs> you know the reason why the kids are here again that's the technology that's the technology that's bringing them here tell them to come here and to interrupt and to cause they, they are both arguing when I've been telling them to you know, I'm almost done and be quiet. Okay, so, but anyway, let's move on. All right, so he concluded that at the frequency where the auditory effect can be easily detected, microwave penetrate deep into the tissue of the head, causing rapid, rapid thermal expansion at the microscopic level only and produce strains in the brain tissue. An acoustic stress wave is then conducted through the skull to the cochlea. And from there, it proceeds in the same manner as the conventional hearing. It is obvious that receiverless radio has not been adequately publicized or explained because of national security concerns. So why do they have national security concerns that they don't want to explain? Because they know exactly what's going on. Today, the ability to remotely transmit microwave voices inside a target head is known inside the Pentagon as synthetic telepathy. According to Dr. Robert Baker, synthetic telepathy has application in covert operation designed to drive a target crazy with voices to deliver undetected instructions to a program assassin. Okay? Yeah, this this is, you know, it's unbelievable. But it is. It's, it's, it's there. Alright? So, using the technology along with a psychological program that is meant to destroy a person's life okay because again when you start to expose this you see they do this to us and this they, they want us they'll see okay well who's going to who who are we going to um get to be quiet about their talking because of what we've done the whole setup situation and all this stuff and you know most a lot of ti's would be like well i'm not saying nothing because you know i don't i don't i don't want to be killed i don't want to be arrested i don't want to be this i want to be that right and this is what they're counting on because it, you know they th believe or they think they have an iron an ironclad uh blackmailing tool that they can use against you right but you have to show them that no and you got to do your research do your research as a TI. A lot of the stuff that used to be there, um, I mean, uh, 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 Dr. Alan uh, Miller, his, before his website, his name was a doctor. Now they took the doctor off of it, okay? Because again, this is probably a, a, a directive from the CIA, which he used to work for, okay? To hide the fact that, that he was a doctor, but he was a doctor. And he still is a doctor. Because once you're a doctor, you're a doctor, right? Unless they, they remove you from the, the board, whatever um, uh, association of doctors or what have you, right? So this is, this is, this is what they're doing. This is, this is what they're doing, okay? And I want people to understand that, okay? 
Oh man, I've been talking and um, <laughs> I have this video up here. Okay, but let me go back to Earth Pulse just so um, you guys can see what I was talking about here. Uh, synthetic telepathy. Um, you guys can read the stuff. This is the so saying. This is the article of um, that lady. All right. So I'm just gonna just scroll down so you guys can read it. Okay. Before I. Um, but this is what I was reading. I didn't realize that the. Um, I was just talking. I didn't. Uh, uh, you know, <laughs> I didn't uh, remove the video. Okay. All right, so you guys can read this. I'm scrolling slowly. You guys can pause. You know, you guys can read it. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm almost done. All right. Um, okay. Uh, so there, here is the website. Um, Mark Hertzberg talks about the uh, Stasi tactics. Is that Sazoom? What's the name of it? Synthetic telepathy. Again, udpulse.com. All right, Pulse Micro Technology. Okay, so I'm going to just read this part over again because I think we need to see this. In 1975, researcher A.W. Guy stated that. One of the most widely observed and accepted biological effect of low power, low average power electromagnetic energy is the auditory sensation invoked in man when exposed to pulse microwave. Okay, and, th and then here yeah, today, the ability to remotely transmit microwave voices inside a target's head is known inside the Pentagon as synthetic telepathy, according to Robert. Uh, Dr. Robert Baker, synthetic telepathy has application in covert operation designed to, designed to drive a target crazy with voices or deliver undetected instructions to a program assassin. Okay? Now, not just to a program assassin, but imagine somebody walking on the street, somebody that like these racist white cops, particularly black activists or political activists, right? and they've done this to, to our political activists in the past. Okay? Like I said, just you just got to go to Google. Uh, let's see. Um, uh, YouTube. YouTube. In the minds of men. In the minds of men. Oh, in the minds of men. I thought that's the end of it. I don't. You I guys don't have know to what watch to now. this. And then video. somehow, I mean, it occurred to me, what about the Associated Press? I don't know why my. See, I had no experience. Set, uh, I didn't know anything about media or doing. Re All right, I have, there's no volume on the, uh, I don't know what's going on here, but um, anyway, watch this uh, interview, okay, watch this interview, all right, and uh, you guys will understand when I say that, you know, uh, that, yeah, this is, this is, they've been doing a lot of this stuff, okay, and they've been doing it to a lot of black activists. Not just today, in today's time, okay, but in the past, okay? So, uh, The Minds of Men, full interview with Dr. Bergen. Watch it, okay? And, um, yeah, okay, so, well, this, this recording is going to be exactly almost two hours, okay? So, I'm going to see you guys on the next video, okay?